Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Cities in Motion. And today we're going to be trying out the other means of transport. I'm going to try to go for the... Uh, water bus is a problem, a little bit of a problem, because uh, there's no density near where we can place water buses. Now, heads up, we can, uh, we can place these, but there's no practical... Um, um, there, there's no practicality in transporting people like this. Um, we can, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll probably do it. I'll do it. Uh, I'll do it, and let's see if we can do it uh, this way. I don't think we can. I, I was hoping to get one of the subway stations uh, covered as well, just in case uh, people want to use uh, multiple means of transport. We have one over here, and I'm pretty sure we can cover it. Here we go, couple of subway stations, so, f oh, here we go. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, but where are we supposed to transport people that they actually want to go? Um, hmm. Yeah, that's a tricky one. Um, here, well, this looks like we can do stuff. You know what, let's offer them, Let, let's do this, let's do this. Let's uh, cross this river a few times here and there and see if people want to use it. Um, right, uh, currently financial issues there's not, are non-existent, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, let's see, um, I, I would rather go for, for this one over here. It's covering a couple of bus stations there, so it should be fine. Okay, let's play with this. Let's play with the um, with the lines, water bus lines. Um, uh, there are maps, uh, in this game there are maps that actually uh, have a quite reasonable um, demand for this, like Amsterdam map, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that, you know, if you want to, if you want to do it, let's, let's do it a little bit cheaper tickets like this. Uh, let's go with this quite light red-ish color. There we go. And I'll leave the salaries alone. Okay, so let's go for water buses and uh, let's build one line uh, all the way over here, create a new line and add stops. Okay, so we have from here. Uh, let me remove this for some reason. I always, I, I never. Look. Is that burning? Well, the building is burning here. Okay, so that's fine. It's not our water bus station. So here we go. And I like how they created these kind of weird uh, patterns. How the boat goes. Well, this one is hitting the. Well, let's go in the opposite direction. Oh, right, 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 right. The opposite direction. Um, it doesn't allow us to choose the same station twice on the on the on the path. Okay, let's do like this. Let's build a station across the river. Let's do it like this, and then I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it here. Oh wait, maybe even better over here. Yeah, probably even better over here. Okay, so add stops on the opposite side. Here we go. One and two. And we need to close the line. Here we go. All the way, line is closed. Okay, let's go with... Um, okay, again, we have some boats here. You can see the speed 40, speed 45, and 70. I'm telling you straight away that these guys, the only first ships, uh, first boats are the one that actually uh, belong here. L let's start. You know what? I will experiment with the others as well. Let's go for the second. You know what? Let, let it, you know what? Let's go for the second one. And I'll go for the third one as well. Okay, let's see how they're gonna go. Uh, this is the original one. I think they are always available. Uh, the steamboats here. The other two, this one is obviously out of place. This fast one. But this one here could be uh, could fit the time scale, time frame, this day and age. Anyway, um, we have that, we're going to visit that later. Uh, let's go for the last mean of transport, and this is something Leaky absolutely never did. Okay, we, we, it's not time for helicopters. I, I wanted to make Copti happy, but the uh, game doesn't want to make Copti happy. Okay, uh, I'm going to speed this up um, uh, a little bit. Uh, currently, we don't have any financial issues. Again, this is uh, what I don't find really challenging. Um, Alright, it's a little bit laggy when I speed this fast, I, I, unless I go somewhere outside of the city. No? It's laggy here as well. 
let's uh, let's slow this down. Yeah, w when it's normal speed, it doesn't. Uh, there's no issues. I wanted to speed up and show you guys all the um, all the different uh, vehicles through the ages, but unfortunately, that's probably gonna be a separate video. Maybe this weekend. Today is Thursday when I'm recording this. Potentially this weekend, I might. Uh, finish these series off and um, uh, 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 see what else can be covered in this game and that's it we'll move on uh, right so we have a couple of things we wanted to do here previously and that will be coverage of this uh, military uh, area let's call it military area here in southwest um, uh, I wanted to make a couple of buses covering the rest of the area but you can see here that we have we have we have a big thing that we never covered, and that's the the airport. And I think I would like to be, uh, I would like to cover this right now. Okay, so what do we have uh, here? Uh, we have this station is being used. We have this one over here. Where is the airport? Airport is here. Can I? And do I want to connect it to this network? Let's do overground. Let's do overground a bit. Uh, just for the sake of demonstrating its power. Uh, demonstrating what uh, overground rail can actually do. So I'm going to build a ground level metro station. Do we have elevated again? Um, no, we have elevated tracks though. Yeah, I think I'm going to do these a little bit. Really? Really? Wow. Look at this! It can actually go anywhere. I never built this. Really, really, I don't. I don't want to do this. I don't want to build over the buildings, but it allows us to do so. You know what? I'll, I'll build overground uh, railroad. Let's see. Let's see where I can place stations. <laughs> place stations. <laughs> place stations. Uh, can I do it here? Uh, can I do it on the roads? No. This is just a ground level. Uh, unfortunately, they take a lot of space, so it's going to be next to impossible to find a proper uh, in-city uh, place where we can place it. But uh, airports are a different story. We have a lot of space around the airports. Let me try to see if I can... I can literally put it in the middle of the in the middle of the airport. I was hoping to put it around here. I, I, I don't have to hope I, because th this is going to be a thing. This is definitely not hard part of this game. I just uh, making it look nice on the other hand, that's a hard part. Because if I place it in the middle of this, it's gonna just gonna look like crap. Uh, the, the whole airport area. What about here? What about coffee? Coffee. I have a bucket of hot coffee, the best thing in the morning. Um, I'm thinking about this one here then. Just to have everything, uh, it's gonna have to be closer to this one. What about this side? No, no, I can't cover it at all uh, in any way except like this. Looks like we're gonna have to. Looks like we're gonna have to have this ugly thing over here. Uh, let's remove this. Yeah. Okay, so what's the plan with this one? I would like to have a fast connection to somewhere in, in the city. Uh, I would like to build overground railroads. This is Chicago, what it's called, Chicago L, elevated train. Really? It works? I don't think this works. What is this? Oh, it works. Okay. Um, this looks like crap, I have to say. Well, you know what? Let, let's build it. Let, let's build it. Uh, let's rotate this. Wow, that sucks. And the pillars in the middle of the road? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, it doesn't allow us to do this. That's fine. That's fine, actually. I, I kind of prefer not to have this one. Okay, so we have a train here. I could have gone in the opposite direction. I intentionally did it in this way, just to see how much we can mess with this. Okay, so we have this elevated train here. I would like to connect it to the center of our uh, transport system. Um, I wanted to connect it to around here. Uh, so let, let me show you what we have on the ground. 
I would like to connect it to one of the existing stations, but they don't ha we don't have a lot of space. Like, for example, this one is fine, but um, that's about it. The rest of the stations are all taken. Um, uh, this is too far away. Uh, we're not going to mess with that one. And then we have uh, these are taken. May maybe over here. Maybe, maybe this station here would be a good one. You know what? I think this um, uh, airport is going to be quite busy. So what I'm going to do is create a totally new system, totally new transport from here to, let's say, city center somewhere, somewhere, period. And then on other part of the city, maybe even, maybe I can even connect it to this one here. How do we have space here to connect? Well, not really, but... Um, we can use this then. Well, yeah, uh, this could be... The thing is that uh, the only thing I need to do is use the pipes over here. Uh, but do I want to do that? No, no, no. We want to go overground. We want to go overground just to demonstrate how it looks like. And then I would like to have new uh, stations separate from the existing ones. Let's see. Uh, we want one over here. Can we place it over here? It's a little bit busy. Let's do one station. Uh, so we need one station like this. Let's rotate it and let's put it uh, quite shallow. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's busy here. Right next to the tunnel here, we have a little bit of space. Okay, I'm kind of I'm kind of okay with this. The problem is. If you want to go from uh, above ground to below ground, you need to have these exchangers. Exchangers are uh, literally, you cannot just go like underground. You have to have these. This is underground to ground metro track transition. Um, they don't take so much space, but they, they take space. Uh, can I place it around here somewhere? No. What about here? Here I can do it. Um, so let's do it like this. Uh, wow, wow. This looks like crap. Uh, if I'm going to build it here, that's going to be... Wait, wait, wait. I can do it here. Okay, so which way? Okay, this way, I think. So if the station is going to be there... Uh, you know what? Let, let's place the station first. Let's place the station here. Uh, rotate it in this direction that's fine and then i would like to build this transition from above to below uh, i think this is the direction we wanted okay yeah that's it you can see there are tunnel going in there okay now let's do this overground thing uh, this overground thing that everybody's talking about. Oh, uh, right, I need to pull it. Okay, this doesn't work. It doesn't work because it's too short. Uh, let me... Uh, met metro station? <laughs> it says metro station here. No, it's not, you silly. <laughs> Let's remove that. Uh, let's push it a little bit further in this direction. Let's see uh, this one here. Okay, uh, train tracks are there. Station is there. Let's see if we're gonna have enough space here. Well, hopefully this is gonna be enough. Okay, now uh, we'll look at this. This is probably remnants of the old system. Can I connect this? Okay. Oh no, it's a little bit too far. What, what's wrong with it? Hmm. He doesn't like it. Looks like we're gonna have to have a little bit more space here. Uh, let's go for more space. So if we go for this transition station again. Right, I'm pretty sure that there's le uh, leftovers of some of the system outside, yeah. Yeah, we didn't really remove it. Okay, let's give it a little bit more space. Uh, a little bit more space. There we go. Okay, this works. <coughs> This works on this side, but the problem is, can we elevate this enough so we can go over the road, over the rail railroad? I 
Okay, he doesn't like it. Okay, let's try this. No, it says that it's... Um, I'm pretty sure that it's because it's... Wait, wait, wait. Do we choose elevation of this? Because it looks like it's choosing its own elevation. It's weird. Like, how do you choose this? Yeah. This would be ideal, but looks like it's not going to work like this. Okay, let's play around with it. Do we have enough space here to elevate this to go over the road? It doesn't like it at all. That's a weird part. Why wouldn't you like it? Maybe it needs to have a little bit more uh, of the railroad here. Ground level. Okay, let's try this now. You have a ground level. Let's go for this one. Come on. Why? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like... Why? Let's see what it, do what it does here. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it over here. I mean, like, it's easy. We can just build a tube. That's fine. And that's, that's it. You know, we're going to be fine. But this one doesn't like it. Like, I can, I can build it in the opposite direction. That's not a problem. But as soon as I try to connect it here, it doesn't like it. It looks like I have to go from this. But it looks like it's fine. It looks from here like it's fine. But it doesn't allow us to build any for some reason. And I have no idea why. Okay. Uh, should I give up on this idea? Probably yes. Um, but how am I supposed to transi transition from above ground to below ground? Well, I can do it easily like this, for example. Let's, uh, let's build um, in the opposite direction. Station here. Uh, transition. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. And then we have tubes. T -ube. T tube, tube. Let's see, where is the station? No. Here we go, this is the station. Okay, let's remove some of these things. This and this, let's go underground. This one, okay. That should be it. Uh, shallow tube, that's fine. And then uh, just connect it all the way to here, right? Yeah, that should be it. <clears throat> this is totally new station. This is totally new system. I would like to connect it to another station, but uh, I think I'm going to have to build it ourselves. If I build it, he will come. Um, coffee time. I would like to have... Um, subway station somewhere where it's dense like um, like this neighborhood here we already have a subway station here I'm not sure if I should use another one this is also a good location Brandenburg Gate it's not that far away Brandenburg Gate I maybe maybe I should let's build it here Brandenburg station yeah it, it, it sounds it has a nice sound to it let's build one station let's go for uh, around here we're gonna go again for the shallow, shallow one, right in front of the Brandenburg Gate, and yeah, let's let's leave it like this, and let's go for the tubes and uh, construct a shallow tube all the way here. Okay, there we go. This is Airport Express. Um, yeah. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the uh, my uh, perception of the. Uh, how I used to um, how I used to uh, think of the public transport system and how it actually works well how I think about it now now uh, um, you have uh, let's say well oh, right I'm gonna need to go above ground here uh, I think uh, doesn't matter let's go this one and let's go in the opposite direction we're gonna remove some of that um, some of that extra infrastructure Wait a minute. That's a wrong one. Uh, remove. Wait a minute. Uh, remove, remove number two. We need to add stop. It's the left hand side one here. And then you have right hand side one. 
and then go all the way here and line close. Okay, one, two, three. I'm missing something. One, <clears throat> two. Um, okay, he has this station here. After two. Ah, oh, right, right, right. No, 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 no. Let's let's do let's redo the whole line. Right, so the public transport system, usually uh, what I think when I, when I think about the public transport system, I think about this. Um, you have existing public transport system, it doesn't matter how big your city is, um, uh, 100,000 people, that's a small town, small city. Uh, it has a bus transit system, like the, the town I went to college has a tram system as well, no, no trolley buses in the... In Croatia, there are no trolley buses. I think they had no, they had it before. I think somewhere, but uh, doesn't matter. Uh, oh, right. We need to ch choose the subway uh, trains. Let's go for the cheap ones. Uh, one, two. There we go. Airport Express, and let's go. Two, two of the basic ones. Right. So my perception of the subway system of the public transport system is like this: you you have a bus. Uh, you have a bus system and a tram system and then you expand on it what it actually in in the real life what it actually happens you don't expand on the existing system if you want to build a new line it doesn't have to be connected to your existing lines your lines can actually be totally separate uh, you have a couple of examples of this for example uh, Shanghai Shanghai um, airport uh, maglev now like maglev is a new technology and it's not being used anywhere like you know it's not widespread um but yet there are lines uh, starting to, to like they're starting to build lines i think japanese have uh experimentation with maglev germans german germans actually sold the maglev system to chinese i mean like they they installed this um maglev uh, from shanghai to shanghai airport and this is how actually system works. Uh, th this is how we should. Uh, uh, this is how we should look. How I look uh, at these things right now, at the public transport system right now. So you have a line that needs to be created. You need to uh, um, the transport people from, let's say, airport to the city center, and you transport people from the airport to the city center and that's it it doesn't have to be anything that you already have the existing lines it can be totally something new like this we created a new uh, subway station we created a new subway line we created everything new without it being connected to anything existing now if people want to go somewhere they can go somewhere they can just go outside of this subway station and go to the other one now in reality you probably would connect these two um, stations like uh, like we have over here this station and this one you would probably have underground tunnels connecting them just if people need to more easily go there in this game you cannot connect these two stations they have to go out and walk around the train uh, train terminal railroad railway terminal and uh, board the subway station elsewhere wow look at this Where do all these people want to go? Let's uh, let's uh, check this out. If you go to the underground, it's the line here, 150. That's a line number one. Um, yeah, the only thing that I would say here that we need, could can use is additional trains or actually even bigger trains because currently this one is 58 people. Uh, this one here has a capacity of 58 as well. Uh, we can put bigger trains. For example, this one here. Don't be 58 again. Uh, this one here is 92. So we can get more of these. And this one is uh, 58 again. Uh, but you can see that we have a problem with uh, density. Like, trains are literally waiting for one another. Uh, this one, we said it has 92 capacity. Is this train... Okay, this is train number... Uh, line number 5. That's not the line number one. Here we go. This one has 43. Now we're gonna have new people boarding this. We have a problem north-south here. This looks like it's a problem now. Line number five. Okay, and what about here? Five over here doesn't have any, uh, any demand. What line is this? Line number five. Let's uh, see line number five. Line number five has only three stations. Oh no, it has four, but it has only three three uh, trains. What about this one? Why didn't we connect? Oh, who goes here? 
Line 3. Where does line 3 go? Probably all the way up here. Yeah, that's interesting. Why didn't I connect this railroad all the way to here? I do not know. I do not know. Probably I should have. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. This is line number 5, right? Uh, let's add stop. Um, let's add stop over here. I'll go for the second terminal here. So it's not in the way. This is uh, stop number 7, right? And then add stop uh, number here. 7, 8, and then uh, back to 1. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's add these stops. And now let's add a few more trains. Uh, let's go for bigger ones. Uh, 58 people, 58 people. This is the small one. No. Uh, 64, 94. 92. These are a little bit too modern. I'm thinking that this one could be a good one. What, what do you have here? 60, 70, 74. These look modern. I don't know about these. Let's go for these big ones here. I think uh, this one here looks like it could fit the age. Let's go for three of them. Um, three additional trains. So let's start the line. Uh, let's turn this off and let's see what we have. Which ones are you? Um... I'm pausing now to check how they look like. Check one, two, one, two. I had a Russian friend. No, um, who was the, I, I don't know how the joke was. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Stupid joke anyway. Uh, right, it's gonna go to this station. Yeah, I like these stations. They can switch from the platform to platform over here. I, I never use these parallel ones, but I can see a peel of them. Uh, from the inside, it's probably going to be a like, huge cavern, and uh, it, I think it looks really nice. I think it's going to look really nice. It has a lot of um, it has a lot of capacity. This station, yeah. Okay, this is this is going to look nice. I think this is going to look nice. But look at this. Uh, yeah, this is the line number one that is busy over here. Okay, we have forty people arriving here. This train has um, how much capacity? 64. Yeah, that, that's not ideal. What's with this one here? This is line number five, yeah? Line number five coming in. This is the train number five. Now open up. Open sesame. There we go. Sucking in all those people. Swallow, 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 swallow. There we go. That's what she said. Okay, let's go and... Oh, rolling in cash, really? <laughs> Probably I had to go to 100,000 to, to get here. Okay, uh, this is much better. This is much better. We're getting we're getting density here. Uh, we have a lot of spacing between stations. And this line is number five. I think they can handle more trains. But we have six trains on this line at the moment, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay, so let's, let's see the coverage. What, what were we talking about? We were talking about this uh, military line. Uh, in the southeast that I would like to connect this a little bit better, but look at these uh, We have 28 people here that are not getting transported Okay, let's see Yeah, I think we can we can use more density here as well. I mean, we have 12 people left on the station waiting, and then we have almost 100 people here. But again, problem with playing um, uh, this early on in the game. Now, there's huge benefits to this. Um, first of all, you see the city develop, so you get new challenges as the city develops. So, for example, um, uh, you're going to see the city grow, like they're going to have new neighborhoods, then you're going to have new buildings. The problem is it takes time, while your development is quite fast. Even on the harder difficulties, you have... It's not that hard to play on harder difficulties. Your missions will give you less money, but as you can see, we didn't use all the missions. Like, having a, a decent public transport system is the best thing that you can do in this game. Um, I don't really care about these. Oh, right, look at this. Uh, this mission is being resolved slowly. Common casino to catch a spy, close a bus line for two weeks. We did this, but it doesn't tell us which bus line. Let's reject this one. Um, work for the unemployed. Have a line connecting farmhouse, farmhouse, and apartment building. 
what's the apartment building here? No, 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 no. And farmhouses, you can see on the map, are all the way in the north. Uh, I don't want to do this. Like, I can cheat in this, like, easily. Just build two stations here and then build a station next to that house. Build a line and then remove everything straight away. Uh, I want to connect all these... All these places to the city center. But... Uh, I want to connect it reasonably. For example, I want to make a bus line going from here to, let's say, uh, here, subway station, so people can go and, you know, travel around the city. I'm thinking how I can connect some of these places over here. Oh, <clears throat> one negative side about the game. One negative side about the game is that you can't really expand your stations. For example, we have uh, we have a decent station over here. But if I would like to, um, for example, if I would like to have, where's the Brandenburg? Here we go, Brandenburg Gate. Um, oh, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually called Brandenburger Tor. Uh, that's a gate, or or a Tor is a goal, <laughs> but gate passage, gate. Uh, Brandenburg Gate is the name of the station. Like for example, if I want to expand this station to be a little bit bigger, you can't. Uh, there's no way of doing that. Um, the only thing you can do is demolish the station and then build a new one. But that's not ideal. This is not something that, uh, that I would like to build. I'm thinking um, how we can implement outside, um, like extend these lines in a way that uh, we can extend it all the way to here and have a train uh, going from outside of the city, you know, above ground and then go below ground. But I don't think this is possible because the, the this is the city that we have, as you can see on the map. And that's it. It does grow. It does grow a lot, especially Berlin. Berlin, Munich and Vienna, they're one of the best maps, at least in my opinion. Wow. Line number two. What's with bus line number two? How many? Okay. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna give them more buses here. Let's see. This is Pavlov. Let's go for one, two, three. Uh, let, let's check the statistics. Um, let's check the statistics. Uh, roster panel. Okay, so let's see here. Buses. I need them by lines. So this is line number two. Okay, line number two. Here we go. The buses rake in, this is year, no, this is monthly, I think. Monthly, these buses give us 77, 73, 130, and the three new ones, 130 monies. Uh, that's a lot. Okay, they drop now, obviously, from month to month it changes, but you can see here around 60 per month. That's incredible. These buses are cheap. They're really not uh, inexpensive. So... Uh, 60 they pay themselves in like half a year so you see how profitable this is if you have a line that is functioning and it's not a hard and it's not hard thing to do in the game um, and another disappointment not a real disappointment something that I'm not a big fan of is the why 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 um, I would like to I would like to want to build a bus system first before we go uh, to anything denser, but in the games, like let's say here in, in Berlin, you can't really go small because literally within days you, you will overgrow your capacity. Like even if you start really early, like 1920s, uh, so if you didn't have all these DLCs that we have, you will literally have two trams uh, to choose from. Um, initially, in the first couple of years, it will be one tram, um, the smallest one. And how are you supposed to carry all these people with one tram? You can literally just build tram after tram after tram and have hundreds of trams on a single line, which is an option. It's an option. Uh, we can cover this as well. Um, let's go and check the statistics of the trams. And then <coughs> let's see the tram line uh, here. Arrange them with lines and we have tram line one. Look at them. Uh, 90, uh, this one is zero. I don't know why this one is zero. Probably because stuck in traffic for last month. 
uh, 90 so you have uh, you have variety of uh, income so i would say in the average there's like 90 to 100 uh dollars let's go with dollars of income here 120 103 they're all line number one so this is how much you earn on uh, per month on each one of these lines now how much do you spend on this i don't really know you have initial cost of the of the system but it doesn't show you how much it it shows you how much it uh, costs to run what is this this is sort by energy consumption but this is not money i think that's not money maybe it is i mean like it, it's some kind of number here energy consumption it could be that this is how much you have to pay for uh, operating and so it's if it's 18 or let's let's say 20 that's not bad because then you have around this 80 uh, left you have 80 left and then the other expenses you have is the um uh your people here how much you yeah th this is definitely how much your wages cost uh 214 drivers we have these are drivers yeah drivers we have inspectors we have technical personnel that's maintenance and then we have office staff so uh drivers so definitely I, I i think you have to have a driver per tram so they cost let's say in this case they cost 16 and that um, the tram consumes 18 that means that there's 30 um 44 44 so you have to have more than 44 um in order to be profitable it's actually 34 but fine um let's say 40 let's say 40 is the base um basic expense that you have per uh, per tram or per bus you will have some inspectors you will have some technical personnel but you can see that they don't really correlate with the number of vehicles they are different um and you have much less of them than one per vehicle well drivers they have to be one per vehicle i think you should have even more drivers than one per vehicle uh maybe you do i mean like how many vehicles do we have does it say we, we should have statistics uh let's see coverage this is economy graph uh time scale last 60 months this is the unemployment these are the city statistics you know how the city is doing uh this also uh, kind of affects you uh and your uh your numbers you know if there's a lot of unemployed people they cannot afford affairs and uh, this is population how it grows uh, it grew from it didn't grow at all it will grow that like i said it, it does um fluctuate and then we have the prices of the utility and electricity this is fuel right yeah this is fuel price and this is electricity price they're kind of similar electricity is cheaper you can see here electricity this is one zero point seven while the fuel at the same time didn't go below one ever and then we have uh this is time scale this is uh, what is this economic growth that's probably country not ours this is a company graph this is uh coverage uh coverage we're 60, currently in 65 percent coverage that's not bad uh, what is this this is the popularity uh it's 59 percent we definitely i definitely want to improve on this and then we have uh, monthly profits for last again 60 months this is how much we earned and oh this is up and down oh that's minus wow okay minus eighteen thousand. wow okay <clears throat> this is popularity of the company this is the total debt oh it's almost we didn't repay everything okay that's fine doesn't matter and company value 444,000 really that's that's a good company uh what's with these loans we have a couple of loans left uh, I, I will leave them i will leave them to expire on their own but anyway uh what i wanted to check is how many uh vehicles do we have um uh do you can you show me like the number no is there like a number what is this? this is how many people they transported uh per month <laughs> yeah this is the people okay 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 this is uh, oh no no is it per month or is it uh, all together passenger just carried maybe it's all together yeah I, I i don't think it's a monthly i only got like 10 20 30 per month whoa look at this one two thousand people that's a lifetime definitely 
Um, right, I would like to know how many actually we have these trams. Uh, unfortunately, I can probably just count them uh, like this. Uh, da -da -da. Let's go line panel and then let's go like this buses. This is three, this is uh, nine, and then we have 14, uh, 19, uh, 21, 24, and 428, and then we have three, that's 31. Uh, 34, 35, 36, uh, 39, 43, 43, and then 5, uh, that's 48, and then 50 and 52. So we have 52 people in, uh, 52, uh, 52 buses. How many trams do we have? You know what? I will not count this, but I will say that it's similar number. I'm just, I just wanted to check if it correlates to the amount of drivers that we have uh, in our system. Uh, it maybe yes, maybe not. No, 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 no. Maybe you need two. Uh, I'll count this, count, uh, count this off, sc off screen, so I'm gonna know it for the next one. But anyway, we're gonna finish off here. Um, uh, I wanted to see if these like number of employees that we have. Uh, uh, correlates with the number of vehicles that we have it could be times two you know it could be that we need uh, uh, double the amount of drivers as we have vehicles but uh, I'm not 100% sure about that probably I think it's probably something like that but anyway uh, I'll leave it here we have a new uh, subway line above ground and below ground line to the city center perfect beautiful uh, hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did Press the like button. If you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, I have a description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye.